here is an interesting laptop. Um, this one has two hard drives. The user or someone else has upgraded the uh, DVD drive slot to a one terabyte hard drive. And what happens is when you turn it on, sometimes it will boot, sometimes it won't and it crashes a lot and the user says while they're playing games all of a sudden it freeze and then turn off you know all kinds of strange behaviors um, so it has also a ssd drive upgraded uh, not by me by somebody else so i'm going to show you first the problem see what happens is when you turn it on it just takes forever to boot and i suspect so far the sata the traditional spinning type hard drive is the problem and we're going to confirm that and then also um, open up the laptop see if we can find anything in there So what we're going to do is we're not going to wait any longer. Let's go into the BIOS and have a look at what hard drives are in there. As you know in the Lenovo systems, you get into BIOS in the off position, uh, press the recovery button on the side and we'll bring the boot menu and go into BIOS and let's have a look at the hard drive information. Okay, so we can see here two hard drives, a Kingston 120GB SSD and a, a one terabyte hard drive in there. And I suspect that's what's faulty. So what, what I would prefer to do is pull that drive out and turn the system on and see if it boots normal. And also have a look at the event logs to see if we can see a lot of crashing messages in the event log about the hard drive. Now this one has a screw missing already, so and so I haven't opened this yet, this came as is, and there we go. And what's interesting is the SSDs and the DVD drive slot. I normally prefer to have this on the primary, the first SATA drive. So whoever did this should have actually put the um, SSD in the other slot and the traditional hard drive to be put into this DVD drive slot. And as we can see, there's no windows on the hard drive that's in there. So let's pull it out open and see what we find. There is the drive and by the looks of it this is actually the stock 
uh, the original uh, hard drive that came with the computer. You know, so um, this should have had an SSD in the beginning. I mean, who uses these drives nowadays? So what I'm going to do is take this um, SSD out, put it in its proper location, and boot the system, and then and then we probably will install a new one terabyte hard drive in the DVD caddy slot and the user can upgrade that anytime they need to or even put another SSD in here. Now this crashing message is normal because the system crashed too many times hence Windows have given up or just letting you know that there is something wrong with the computer. So let's properly reboot the computer again and let's log in and have a look. And if I remember it booted up very quick. There we go. You should see the Windows logo, the Windows login page. Great. Okay, got it plugged into the external monitor. Nice background. Let's have a look at the event logs. This is a live repair with minimal editing. And what I want to see is the uh, system event log and I want to see uh, if there was any you know, disk errors reported. It's uh, normal for this to take a while. Okay, so we want to go to an earlier time frame and see what we find. Let's go much earlier time. Yeah, there we go. We can clearly see a lot of disk errors. Yeah, okay, so we're on to it. So what we're going to do is simply replace it with a new uh, one terabyte hard drive and put it in the caddy position and we shall be good to go. And if you had SSD and this happened, and that's a serious sign, so you better upgrade your SSD or replace it, pack up all your data, but having bad sectors and traditional hard drives is a very common problem. Alright, so here we go. I've put the new one terabyte in there. Just gonna put the remaining screws. I do a lot of jobs between other jobs, so I have to do a bit of editing to speed things up. And yep, let's put the screws back in. And also take the uh, caddy out of the old drive, put it into the SSD, so it's nice and secure in, in the position where it should be. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.